Hi, I'm Pamela Daramsi Lee, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be doing inventive shelters and vessels of memory. I'm honored to be on Suquamish land and we'll be creating homes for displaced peoples, inspired by the work of Abir Sekali. Inventive shelters, vessels of memories. Looking at these incredible geometric tents, I'm moved to think and create. Made by interdisciplinary artist and architect Abir Sekali, Jordanian Palestinian winner of the International Lexus Design Award. In her TEDx talk, she describes combining the natural and architectural spaces of the womb, the nest, a courtyard, and handwoven tents to compose her ideas. Utilizing the water hyacinth, she is weaving fabric much like her ancestors did. These nomadic artisans created looms using sticks, stones, and other available materials. Women would weave the fabric for their tents made of goat hair and sheep's wool to erect structures they created for their families to live in. Often these structures would need to be moved, so they had to be collapsible and transportable. Her hope that is refugees around the world, much like the Syrian refugees in Jordan's Zatari refugee camp, will be able to build their own homes and will allow them shelter, dignity, and the chance to rebuild their community. The place of birth, a womb where we all develop, where the mother's skin grows with the baby, offering it shelter, complete with nutrients to sp support its development. Sekali's tent uses the sun's rays to create electricity and to heat water, which is held in the central dome of the tent from collections in pockets of the tent's exterior. The dome of the tent can open or close according to the weather to provide ventilation or protection from the elements. The third space that inspired this vision is the Middle Eastern courtyard, which resides within a home. There, the space is its own microcosm where natural life flourishes and families gather to commune. Within the courtyard is a nest, an ancient construction, a place to birth and raise a young avian family, built from local materials and woven together to create a viable structure. It must be strong enough to survive the elements and the stresses of the brood. Sekali believes that the home is a vessel through which we perceive our place in this world. Home is a place where collected objects form and express fragments of her history her rhythms from the past and link them to her future. It is the origin of memory, culture, and innovation. So we can create vessels that hold our memories and our cultural histories. Can innovations hold both the past and the present? These vessels may not house the displaced, but from their creation, we may be inspired to create solutions to the world's needs, you never know. Listen to her TEDx talk, she's very compelling. The topic is compelling. There are more than one billion people who are in need of ecological, clean, functional, and dignified communal spaces. Can we create what is needed? So my ancestors traveled from the north of India down to Bombay um, a couple generations ago. And they traveled in oxen carts with the whole family piled in and all their belongings. I think that's why I wanted this one to be able to move. No oxen, that's for sure. But it's fun to fool around with it. This chair was an old coin purse that my mother got from the Lakota Sioux tribes up in South Dakota, where she helped to build a school years ago. A little Mexican basket filled with fruit. A vessel for water. And a vessel for drinking. A blanket for warmth. A runaway pear. And a little hearth to cook on. I have several friends that have lived out of their vans and gone nomadic for a while. 
It's totally possible to create dignified places out of moving objects. This is an old drawer from a machinist cabinet and it's rolling around on a spool of thread which was put on by my husband Joshua Lee. Thank you Joshua. This is an old gourd but I think it was created to be a bird feeder. But I've been recently moved by the plight of the Mexican and Central American children that are being held at our borders at the moment. And I think this piece is really a wish for them to find homes and, and sustenance and dignity. So inside is a very large cherry tomato and a nice sleeping place and a little dog as a companion and a place to, to catch water and a little fish that enjoys swimming in there, but maybe eating for dinner and vegetables and fruits hung from the doorway to dry. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.